I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I had a most enjoyable meditation <laughs> uh, for a while this afternoon, and it happened after reading this paragraph in Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind by uh, the revered Suzuki Maharaj. So I'm going to share it with you and then maybe unpack it a little bit. When you have something in your consciousness, you do not have perfect composure. The best way toward perfect composure is to forget everything. Then your mind is calm and it is wide and clear enough to see and feel things as they are without any effort. The best way to find perfect composure is not to retain any idea of things, whatever they may be, to forget all about them, and not to leave any trace or shadow of thinking. But if you try to stop your mind, or try to go beyond your conscious activity, that will only be another burden for you. I have to stop my mind in my practice, but I cannot. My practice is not so good. This kind of idea is also the wrong way of practice. Do not try to stop your mind, but leave everything as it is. Then things will not stay in your mind so long. Things will come as they come, and they will go as they go. Then eventually your clear, empty mind will last fairly long. It's a wonderful practice to sit and assume that all is done, to not feel like anything has to be accomplished. This moment is the only moment, and it is one that we have been inhabited the entire length of our being as we know it. And so in this moment is everything. If you accept this moment as the only real thing, since you cannot go and grab a past, and you cannot go and visit a future. Anything time you think of the past, you bring it into the present. Any time you consider the future, you bring it into the present. And so this present holds all of that. And so any resolution to a problem is a figment of an imagination, because you require the concepts of past and future, which have no inherent existence which are merely conceptual. So in them is where the anxiety is formed. In those concepts is where trouble is formed. And when we work within those concepts, we always are grasping at something in the future, a perfect day, a better meditation, a realization, an open heart, whatever things may be. But they are as much in this moment as they are in that imagined future or that imagined past. So sit in pure contentment. Assume it. Because if it is possible, it is here now. And in that fulfillment, think of love. It is the nature of your being. Sit quietly in that being. Sit contentedly in that love. Let no thought intrude. Let no idea of lack come into the picture. Don't try to do anything. Just be as you are, free in the moment, undefined by anything outside of yourself, devoid of any need for anything outside of yourself. In this moment you are whole. In this moment you are free. In this moment you are as realized as you will be in that imagined day in the future. It is all here. It is all now. Accept the moment as it is. Know your interbeing with everything. Nothing is separate. Nothing is alone. Nothing is not included.
this was a great meditation for me today. I hope it is the same for you.